Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel. This week we're going to talk about Jose Maria Morelos, the Morelia Aqueduct, Monarch Butterflies, and the current Mexican 50 peso bill. This bill is part of the F1 series of banknotes and began circulating in 2013. It's got a face value of $2.60 and you can pick one up off eBay for between $3 and $6. Since this is one of Mexico's most modern banknotes, it's got a lot of security features to talk about. Intaglio printing on the front means that it's possible to feel the design elements on the front of the note. And although it becomes harder to feel as the notes age, the Banco de Mexico text at the top is the most prominent tactile feature. The butterfly in the top left corner changes color as you tilt the note. There are also clear panels on the left and right of the note, one of which has hidden holographic 50 that's visible when you look at a speck of light through the panel or project a laser through it. The back of the note is covered with UV reactive ink, which also reveals the hidden text 50 pesos and B to M for Banco de Mexico. Both sides of the note are covered in microprinting of the note's denomination, Banco de Mexico, and a brief passage from Morelos's Sentimientos de la Nación. Sentimientos de la Nación, or Sentiments of the Nation, is a document read by Jose Maria Morelos in front of Mexico's first independent congress in 1813, in the middle of Mexico's war for independence. It was basically a Bill of Rights and a Declaration of Independence combined. Of the 23 points in the document, the one quoted is the 15th. Let slavery be abolished forever along with class distinctions, all remaining equal, with only vice and virtue distinguishing one American from another. José María Teclo Morelos Pérez y Pavón was a mestizo priest from Valladolid, Michoacán, who took up arms against the Spanish in the south of Mexico. He took leadership of the insurgency against New Spain after the death of Miguel Hidalgo in 1811. His early campaigns against the Spanish were so successful that by 1813, he controlled most of southern Mexico. He was captured in 1815 while protecting the insurgent Congress from the advancing Royalist army. Although he was captured, he ensured the escape of the Congress and his generals. He was tried by the Spanish Inquisition, defrocked, and put to death by civil authorities on December 22nd. Morelos, along with Miguel Hidalgo, is considered one of the most important foundational figures in Mexico's history. To honor his contributions, the state of Morelos was named after him, his home city of Valladolid was renamed to Morelia, and he's been featured on Mexican banknotes and coinage for over 100 years. To the left of Morelos is a collection of symbols relating to his life. The cannons represent his military career. Sud is an old way of saying South, where he fought most of his battles. This, along with the bow and arrow, were stamped on coins Morelos had minted during the war. The banner is Morelos' battle flag. It was one of the first Mexican flags to display the imagery of an eagle on a cactus. This is surrounded by a Latin phrase which translates to, by eyes and claws, equally victorious. The reverse of the bill is inspired by the state of Michoacán, where Morelos was born. It features the aqueduct of Morelia, originally built in the 16th century. The aqueduct as it appears on the bill was first constructed at the end of the 18th century and still stands today. The symbol to the left of the aqueduct is a toponymic glyph used by the Aztecs to identify the people from the Lake Pátzcuaro area, west of Morelia. The Aztec name Michoacá means place of the fishermen and is the origin for the name of the state of Michoacán. It's impossible to miss the butterflies that adorn this note. Michoacán is home to the largest overwintering sites for monarch butterflies in the world. Monarch butterflies cluster by the millions at multiple sites in Michoacán. There are so many butterflies that the population isn't measured by individuals, but by how many hectares they cover. That's all for this week. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.